What's up YouTube, this is Sonic again from Exit 55 and today we're going to review this one, Mercedes G63 AMG 2013. So we're going to have a tour around the car, we're going to see how it's going to drive. I'm going to show the car from inside the beast that's under the bonnet. So please subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave a comment if you have any question during the video. <music> An army vehicle that got converted to a civilian luxury SUV from 1979. And they made sure that you will know that it was an army vehicle. The door hinges toward the outside, the door handle, old school handle. The vacuum seal, that means that once the door is closed, no air is coming in or inside the car. Now let's take a look at the trunk. Now, the trunk door open sideways is not really bad, but if you have a tight parking, it might be an issue. Other than that, it's okay. Behind the trunk door, we have the big spare wheel with the Mercedes AMG logo on it. Now, I respect a company that pay attention to details. And for here, you can see that the, even the trunk door, it got padded with leather. Now for the trunk size, it's quite decent actually. This is a big box. And just to give you an idea about how the trunk, I'm gonna sit right here. It's quite spacious. It's not, it's not the biggest, but it's quite spacious. This is a big box. This is fishing gear. It's enough. This car is a bi-turbo V8 5.5 liter engine AMG that gives 544 horsepower and this power goes straight to that 7-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters on the steering wheel. The shifter design itself is very easy to use, reverse on the top, neutral on drive and one button for parking and one on the left side for driving mode. Now once you get into this car, close the door and when you close this door this is not an easy closed door as i remember you guys this this car is heavy this car has been a military vehicle the door is still from the military vehicle so yep just like that now the interior is a very luxurious interior it's not like a, a like a like you're riding a jeep uh, from the military whatever leftovers you have the mercedes screen the mercedes steering wheel with the gauges you have the three options for traction control for the rear front and all four wheels. You have the AC control, a very luxurious stereo control. And once we start the car, whatever issue you have with this car, you will forget it once you hear the twin turbo V8 engine running. This is an exhaust note that you can get from an old classic Corvette, not from an SUV. Okay, now the first comment I have is the door. The door is a bit not very wide and it opens not that much. So yeah, if you have that children chair kind of thing and you want to put it inside, it will be a hassle to get inside. But if you don't have children, just like me, having a free life, let's get inside. And yeah, it's pretty easy. And once you sit inside, there's a lot of space actually. Like uh, I'm completely fine. And I have your separate air vent for the air conditioning. I have two cup holders and I have a screen and I get a Mercedes headphone. Now while we're driving this car, a lot of feedbacks I want to tell actually. Now we're going to start with the air conditioning. Now I'm not going to complain about the air conditioning, but we're in the UEE. Sometimes the temperature goes to 45 Celsius. 
Mercedes could have thought about fitting a much stronger air conditioning in a car that will be, that, you know, will be sent to regions like GCC or Middle East. If I'm gonna rate it from one to ten, I'm gonna give it seven at max. Other than that, seat positioning is super amazing. I can see everything around the car. I can see the hood. I can see right at the end of the hood, so I know exactly where is the front of the car. What is where is the rear of the car? I can see everything beside me, in front, in the back. It's a huge car, but once you start driving it, it feels like uh, you really hand, like you can handle it easily. It feels like a small car, so it's it's pretty easy to drive. One of the good things that I noticed is the glass. The glass is straight and it's so close. So it gives you that military vehicle feeling. The dash is very thin. So it doesn't give you that much space between you and the front of the vehicle, which is also one of the reasons why the visibility is so good. Gas for mileage. On the book, 17 miles per gallon. Reality is gonna be something different for two reasons. First of all, this car is 2013. It's been some few years on it, on its age already. Second thing, why are you driving this car? I'm driving it slowly, it's like around 100 km per hour. The RPM is 1.8, which is nothing for the engine. The engine is not even working. But one of the main thing that you can actually feel that there is a beast right under the bonnet. So at one point or another, you're gonna release it. Watching. please subscribe to my channel to see awesome car reviews coming in the future leave a comment if you have any question and like the video if you like it have a good day and thank you for watching exit 55